Dilo, what's pop? We are on kickkick.com. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. If we do go live and you happen to miss it, this is the channel that can locate any highlights and things of that nature. Uh, we also got the Patreon. We upload here five days a week, Monday through Friday. Don't forget, Top Boy is coming soon. Come on now. Uh, Chicago to the UK. Don't forget I got merch. Got mine on. Uh, all of this stuff can be found in the link below. It's called a link tree. Click it. It's in the description. Every All my socials, everything you need to pop up. And this right here, Skyboy. This is his channel, of course. I see a lot of y'all be watching the videos, but don't sub to him. That's weird. Uh, anyway. I hit my like button. I'm subbed. East London's deadliest gangster, Nana Opung. Hopefully, I said that right. Why? Because you got your face banged over with your shank in your hand. Oh, you, what? You got your face banged over with your shank in your hand. Right there, this is your enemy. Your brother with this skin is not your enemy. Make do of where you're from. Like, not everywhere is meant to be... I like the start. Like, that, like, like, I believe my area was how it is for a reason. Beef I've got is man having beef with me, innit? I've got defence mechanism. And, and the best form of defence is attack. This is the story of Nana Pong, aka Enz, aka The Cleaner, and how he became East London's deadliest gangster. First of all, thumbnail. <laughs> you get me. Understand what I'm coming from. Let's get that thumbnail together. You know what I'm saying? Do we got clarity? My bad. Um. Nana Apong was five feet six inches tall with a proportionate build. He spent his. It's always the short ones. Always the short. Hey, these short dudes, they really. Be, they really be the steppers. You better leave them alone. You better leave them alone. It's like Napoleon complex. Like they'll do anything. To get their respect when they lack height. I'm just saying. His early years are part of a criminal. Five feet six inches tall with a proportionate build. He spent his early years a part of a criminal organization known as System in East London, but had links in numerous areas in London. On the 23rd of December 1999, Nana Pong had a personal disagreement with a man known as Jeremiah O.K., who at the time was the boss of Plaster. Nana Apong would shoot him dead and flee the scene. Nana would later be arrested and charged. In March 2001, Nana would be tried for the murder of Jeremiah Oke, okay, but would be acquitted. This was a lucky escape, and you'd think beating a life sentence would cool him down, but it only made him more daring. Now, almost a decade later, on the 29th of May 2010, Nana Apong was out celebrating his 30th birthday at the Sugar Lounge Club in Fur. Power, power is crazy. Escape. President of the party was Eugene Brown. Suddenly, Mr. Brown pulled out a pistol from his waistband and fired four shots at the ceiling, causing mass panic and for revelers to flee the party. President of the party was Nana's right hand man and partner in crime, Michael Smith. Nana then proceeded to hand Smith a weapon before both men headed outside. Smith then shoots both Eugene Brown and Patrick Ford, who had been trying to take Brown's gun from him. Patrick Ford was shot in the chest while Eugene Brown was shot in the head. Immediately after this, Kevin Powell, who was the friend of Eugene Brown, attempted to take revenge and gave chase to Michael Smith, shooting as he chased Smith for more than a quarter of a mile. Smith, whose suit was covered in blood, his white suit at that, had got up and ran away, but was caught again by Kevin Powell and blasted at point blank range for a second time. At least 24 bullets were fired at him, some becoming Damn. embedded in the houses and one going through a living room window. 
24 bullets? What do you have? A, a, a 30? Michael Smith still managed to get up and run and dived into an open window. He had a point blank and he got up and ran? What was that? Nah, that couldn't have been nothing crazy. Into a car. Smith was saved after being picked up in a Pong's BMW and driven to Newham General Hospital where he recovered. Unfortunately, Patrick Ford died at the scene oh, okay. Eugene Brown later died in hospital six Got weeks it. after okay, being okay. shot in the head. Michael Smith, 28, of Canning Town, was jailed for life with a minimum term of 34 years. years for both murders by Judge Brian Baker, QC, at the Old Bailey in September 2012, while Kevin Powell, 37, of Halsden, was jailed for attempted murder of Smith. Nana Apong, 32, of Stratford, was cleared of murder and firearm charge after two juries failed to reach a verdict. Bro beat two M cases? Was out here, Nana is out here undefeated. You two, keep in mind, I do not condone or glorify this. I'm just stating the facts. I'm here as, as, as a news outlet. However, he was jailed for two years after being found guilty of perverting the court of justice. Oh, wow. All I needed was to he beat two M cases and they got him for two years for perverting the court of justice. That's how it be. You better believe they're going to get you for whatever. Now on the 18th of May 2020, Nana Pong and a few Leighton Stone gang members would attend a party in Dagnum. They would spot Ashley Latty of the Bowman Boys. The men then walked together towards where Ashley was standing before attacking him. Ashley was repeatedly punched and kicked, struck with a bottle and stabbed in a minute long attack. Ah. Police were just called after 5.30am on May 18th 2014. I always tell y'all, I know this was 2014, but by 2014 I, I was done with the house parties in Chicago because they was already shooting them, shooting them up. So stay away from house parties. <laughs> the reports of a stabbing outside a function at a Beaver Center. Ambulance crew. I don't care if it was at a Beaver Center or a community outlet reach center. Stay away from them. If it ain't a club or a bar, even those are dangerous, but still. Rushed Mr. Lighty to an East London hospital where he was pronounced dead at about 7.15. A post-mortem examination showed he had been stabbed twice in the back and three times in the chest, one which entered his heart. Now Nana upon 33, of no fix abode, was charged with murder. In evidence at the trial, Apong denied knowing the defenders, but said when he was told Lati had robbed Terra Lange of a necklace, he had been flattered to be asked to get involved. He accepted that he had been shown attacking a man on CC's TV, but claimed he had no knowledge that a knife was being carried by anyone or that the victim had been badly injured. After the Old Bailey trial, Nana was not found guilty of murder for a third This dude is Michael Jordan in the UK. He's three for three. Time after previously being acquitted of two other murders, however, was jailed for four years after admitting causing grievously body harm with intent. Five men were jailed for the fate and stabbing of 25 year old Ashley Letty outside a party in Dagnan. Tyler Burton, 29, and Nicholas Terralonge. 28 from Leytonstone was sentenced to life imprisonment at the Old Bailey, having been found guilty of murder. They locked up today 50, they didn't. Both will serve a minimum of 20 years behind bars. Now Fox, real name Robert Powell, was an OG from Hackney. He was part of the Love of Money gang, which located across several estates in the E5 and N16 postcodes. In his earlier days, Fox would kidnap Nana Pong and torture him. It's alleged that Fox would years later gossip and share this story, which would anger Nana and make him relive old trauma. Fox was a marked man for a very long time, but had talent for not lacking, hence the name Fox. Fox was the manager of the UK Jewel's hottest new artist at the time, known as Dutch Avelli. As seen. <laughs> Didn't age well, did it? In this music video of his debut Jewel hit, Only If You Knew. Now on the 13th of June 2020, after coming back from a Dutch Avelli music video, Fox was at Water Lane in Royden when a car containing Nana Pong approached him. Multiple shots were fired from the car. Fox was shot eight times. He died in hospital the following day. Two other women were also shot but were not seriously injured. 
Essex police have since said that they believe three men were involved in the killing and released their names and photos in the hope that the public could help track them down. Officers have renewed their appeal for the public's help to track down Nana Apong, Timmy Topi Adiyanki, both from Stratford in London, and Isra Shah, 36, from Brentwood in Essex, who are all believed to have been involved. Now, Nana Apong was on the run and hiding out in Spain. The NCAA well, he got up, he got up campaign featured 13 fugitives thought to be hiding in Spain, and Apong was made the subject of an Interpol red notice. Oh, well, look at that. Of course, he's going to stand out. He, they definitely tracked him down. Which alerts police in Spain. Worldwide. And two men suspected of murder. Nana Rapong is wanted for a drive-by shooting in Essex of a man police think was a gang rival. The victim died from eight gunshots. Nana Pong would then travel in the back of a lorry from Spain in hopes of entering Morocco. Apong 43 was stopped by officers from Morocco's General Directorate for National Security in September 22 at Tangier Port after allegedly trying to enter the country using false documents. On the 20th of June 2023, Nana Pong was escorted back to the UK by an extradition team from the NCA. He ain't beat this one, man. He went out 3 and 1. His Joint International Crime Centre. He appeared at Kelmsford Magistrate Court on Wednesday and was ordered to appear at Kelmsford Crown Court on Thursday, June 2023, where he was remanded in custody. The Met Police secured further charges of conspiracy to possess firearms with intent to enable others to endanger life, conspiracy to possess firearms, conspiracy to supply cocaine and money laundering. With the same stroke of luck that has followed Nana throughout his previous cases strike again, only time will tell. Now that includes the story of Nana Pong and why his hectic life. Good boy, three and one, man. He was almost a group. <laughs> My bad. Nana Pong, a verb. TLL, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. I'm gone.